Hallo Freunde der analogen Unterhaltung und willkommen, hier geht es weiter im Livestream, hier mit Philipp von Bored and Dice und nicht wundern, wir machen jetzt hier gleich auf Englisch weiter, weil sonst versteht der gute Philipp gar nicht, worüber ich hier rede. You brought us three new games, three yeah. new releases from Bored and Dice and I think we should start with Pocket Mars because this camera already got catch some details of this game. So. Awesome, so we have three games, 15 minutes, so I will do the best to describe you the sweetest of the game. So, the Pocket Mars. Pocket Mars is our the best selling game right now. So we, it with premiere at UK Game Expo. So in this game, after terraforming Mars, hmm. you need to colonize it. Of yeah. course. Of yeah. Course. So we have for you a small little game, but very smart about colonizing Mars. So you will be putting the colonist from Earth on the Mars mm -hmm. and try also, in the same moment, think how you spread those colonies. It's not like you just put the cubes on the cart and that's it. It depends on how you do and where you do. Because we have in this game project cards. So you'll be building some new stuff on the Mars and be able to send them your astronauts from the Earth. And each card you can use on two different ways. Depends on where the card is at the moment. Okay. So if you play a card from your hand, you can activate the top action mm -hmm. and just discard that card. But the magic happens when you play the card from the prep model. So as you can see, we have two cards in front of you that mm -hmm. is face down. So those cards are in the prep model. When you play a card from your prep model, you flip it and place below the building. Mm -hmm. So now it's a represent that you build some stuff on the Mars. So now we check the number and if you beat the previous card, so th your score is h uh, higher, higher, so you can transport your s colonies from your ship to the surface of the Mars for free. Then you can do the bottom action and what's more, you can do also the building action as well. Okay. And each building have their own unique action. And the key of the game is that you cannot just focus on one building, you need to use the all buildings because only that strategy gives you uh, the most points at the end of the game because depends on where the astronauts are, you score more or less points. Like in this area, every cube is worth two points. If you have at least one astronaut on uh, each card, you gain three points. If you have four astronauts in one building, you score four points. If you have some astronauts on your ship, you score points. If you have the most energy, you score points. But you can also use energy to activate some cool abilities on cards. And what are the victory conditions? Yeah, the victory conditions is super easy. So the first player who put all his cubes on the Mars trigger the end of the game. So at this moment, we can't uh, the points for, from mm -hmm. um, astronauts on Mars and on your ship and from your energy and then whoever have the most points win the game. Wins the game. Yeah, exactly. So this is the Pocket Mars 15 minute game before, uh, after you terraforming Mars. So, ja, also das ist das Spiel, was ihr nach Terraforming Mars spielen solltet. Dann in der Hosentasche habt ihr den Mars gerade terraformt und jetzt muss der natürlich auch besiedelt werden. Ich will das jetzt nicht alles nochmal zusammenfassen. Pocket Mars, äh, ab 10 Jahren wird es empfohlen für zwei bis vier Spieler, dauert 15 bis 30 Minuten und ist halt wirklich, ja, so ein kleines Kartenbesiedlungs-, also ein, ein kleines, großes, großes Spiel in kleiner Schachtel, yeah. äh, wollte ich fast sagen. Ähm, and it's, it's already released? Yes, it's already released. It's What's the price? The price is uh, 12 euro. 12 euro for pocket mask from Bob and Dice. So that's the first game. The uh, next game we want to show is super hot. We're going to with super hot. The card game. No, it's not a erotic game. It's based on, uh, yeah. on, the, on the video, on the video oh, game, yes, on, on the computer game. On, on the computer hot. game that is uh, already on PC. Xbox and as well on the PC4. First person shooter. Yes, yeah. so um, this is a very weird game because uh, in originally in the video game, time moves only when you move. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, also in the original video spiel, so we'll kurz übersetzt, da uh, läuft die Zeit nur dann, wenn man sich bewegt. So, wie will man das jetzt auf eine Brettspielmechanik übertragen? So, how, how, how did, how put you this mechanic into... So, okay. if you, if you deeply think about that, it sounds like a board game already because there's nothing happens on the board until you do something. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it was in the other side. It was super easy for us to represent this in the shape of card game. 
So in this card game, you also will be managing the time. And sometimes the time will be your advantage, but sometimes it will be your threat. Mm. Because you enter the room and you see all those red dudes, some locations and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you have your cards and try to interact with the line. And you try to punch some guys, you try to dodge some things that will allow you to get more powerful cards. The most tricky and craziest part of this game is how this game is works. Because when you think about the deck building games, you think like you spend cards to gain new cards. Mm -hmm. So you build your deck, your deck, your deck, your deck. And then you are super powerful. In this game, it's a little bit different. Because when I play my card, for example, I will be interactive with this card. Mm -hmm. So you ask me. So ask me. I ask. What? Yeah. yeah. So I will explain you. So you want to, for example, I will use the kill, kill, kill this guy. Kill because this if, guy. if he stay in the line till the end of the turn. It's not good for me. Yeah, I, because he, he will shoot. shoot at me. Yeah. So he's, uh, you, you will say, oh, I shoot. Uh, I should f fight with him, but I say no, wait, wait a second. I will use time to get rid of those red juice from the line. Okay. So I will interact with this card because I know I don't have powerful cards on my hand because it's the beginning of the game, so I'll, I will help with time. Okay. So I will spend uh, uh, mm -hmm. four cards so I can get this card to my new card area. Then, after that, because I don't have any more cards on my hand, uh, my turn is over. So now we check how many time goes. Mm -hmm. And the number of cards I used is the, the time, time that, that goes, by. goes by. Yes. So mm -hmm. one, two, three, four. Then we count from the right yeah. to the left four spaces. One, two, three, four. So we count the entry space and this. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So those cards will be discarded. They're gone in yes. never ending so time. Because, because you moved so fast that you just move by them. These guys didn't even notice yes, that they yes, were in yes, the room. Yes, super fast. Yeah. Dead. Yeah, Dead. but but what's happened with those cards? Those goes to your discard. Okay. Because they are behind you, you will use them later. To use them against other... Because when your deck will be empty, you create the new one from the okay. discard pile. Mm -hmm. So you use the time to create your future deck. And what happened with those cards you used? It goes to the obstacle discard. Mm -hmm. And when the obstacle discard uh, deck will be empty, you will create the new one mm -hmm. from those cards. So basically, when you use something against the system, the system will use the same cards against you later in the game. And this is how mm. it goes. Okay. So sometimes you will be moving slow because you want to keep some cards on the line very long. Because not every card is evil for you. The red dudes are. It's uh, no, we don't want them. But for example, uh, pillar, if yes. it stay in the line at the end of the turn, it allows you to draw one extra so card. It's a positive effect. Yes. Yeah. So sometimes you want to keep some cards in the line, but in the same moment you will need to read off those cards that will create a threat for you. Mm -hmm. Because when someone will shoot, the bullet goes here. And it's like you see someone shoot in your direction, but the bullets go very slowly into your direction. So you have some time to prepare when the bullets show up. When the bullets will appear suddenly in the line, you can dodge the bullet. But if you allow the bullet to go through the line and go out from the line, it goes straight to your hand. Okay. And it blocks you because when you refill your hand, you will refill minus one card. Mm -hmm. And you die when you have four bullets on your hand, or you die when you, there is no bullet uh, in the bullet deck. Because there is so many bullets in the air, you cannot survive. Okay, full of flying bullets. Yes, or yes, or you cannot dodge them. And what's the uh, victory condition of that after we play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so if you be able to win the game, because Sorry, in this game, you will be die very often. This is, yeah. <laughs> That's like, yeah, it's a first person <laughs> shooter, I told you. Yeah, so in this game, you try to reach the last level. The first level is one goal card. And mm. you okay. try to reach okay, this yeah, condition. If you, like 10 other players yes, and stuff if like you, that. Yes, if mm. you reach this goal, you progress to the second level. The mm. second level, two goal cards. And the last level, two ah, okay, goal cards. 
Yeah. And you, if you will be alive uh, now, uh, till the end, yeah, you will win the game. And please contact with us, we will give you a discount. <laughs> because it's not happened a lot. Okay. Yeah. But the game comes with four uh, modes. Like, you can play alone, single player game. You can play two player in co-op mode. So okay. two player will gain, two, two play against two. the system. One versus ah. one. So the one will be system itself. Oh, okay. And he will be use cards to activate some cool abilities to manage the line. And the last one is mixed. So two player play in co-op versus the one player Who's who will perform system? as a system. Okay, great. That's a super hot card game already. Yeah. Yeah. There's one question in the chat because uh, of the it's it's just of paper. This yeah. Project, but you don't need it. Yeah, actually. yeah. It's so just for uh, yeah, just ju just for the beginning. To put so some, where yeah. To put the card. Yeah. So you, you have all uh, those uh, areas marked on this paper paper mat, and it the paper mat goes with the game. Are there some luxury playmates in? in yes, conception? yes. We have the looks uh, that thick play mat, so it's it's bigger than that. And if you want to be a pro, yeah. You should use the ja, also natürlich. Es gibt aber auch richtig, also man braucht es eigentlich nicht. Ja, das ist das, wenn man halt mal ein Gefühl für kriegt, wo hier welche Karten in, wo wie hingelegt werden. Wenn man es mal kann, lässt man es entweder weg oder man ist dann so großer Fan, dass man sich da die richtige Playmate holt. Playmate holt, die gibt es äh, auch, aber die passt halt nicht in die Schachtel. Ja. Uh, what's the price this year? 20 Euro. 20 Euro for super hot the card game. So, but uh, that's not the last game you yeah. want to show. Yeah, I thought. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So. So. And this is, yeah, this is the Networks, a uh, game by Formal Ferry Games by the great Jill Hoa. The uh, this English version of the game is already released, but there yeah. is a rumors that there will be a German version of Network. Is it true? Yes, it's true because, yeah, because we, uh, the Jill is a very uh, great uh, guy. Yes, and that's he, true. And he allows, allows us to make a German version because mm. we love German a lot. We went to the SN for a few years and we are always very welcomed by the people. Uh, so, he decided to give us the German version mm -hmm. and we will release the game in German here on the Berlin Con you can uh, play the game in English because the German is in developed right now but in this game basically you take control of one of the networks and you try to make the best shows as you can to collect as many viewers million viewers you can get by presenting the shows on a specific time because you have 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. when you can put shows. And you have a bunch of crazy show. Uh, and the fun <laughs> is also how they are presented. There are very well-known uh, shows like also the stars. So for example, you can you can put the show at, now let's say it, 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 uh, it works better on 9, so I will put it on the 9 mm -hmm. p.m. And it gives me viewers. But also, I can put a star below this card that so increase the number of viewers I can get from the, the show. Because the in this show and yes, the people like yes. to watch Like, it for example, in this case, Creepy Vampire. Yeah, of course. Yes. Everybody loves the Creepy yeah. Vampire. It should be in every show. Should, should be in the Paisley is the new burnt umbrella. I like here, th this show, Dr. What? Yeah, Dr. Yeah. What? Dr. What? And the creepy vampire will be uh, yeah. play in the Doctor What. Fits good. Fits yeah. Good. So he increased, but also you and can. We need uh, also a um, cult sci-fi actor. Yeah. Yeah. We can also. <laughs> in this it's case, possible? yes, it's possible because here is the limit of what you can put ah, below. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in this case, the star is required to be placed below. But then you can buy an advertisement or place a second star below. 
So you can mix a lot in the game, and in the, 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 every game will be very different. The different stars. So also the stars uh, sometimes want to play in a specific uh, show. Mm -hmm. For example, this star play only with uh, the star TV okay. show. What but a diva. Yeah. yeah first, um, but if you don't place this star below that show, uh, you need to flip them, fl flip him. So he gives you less viewers. He perform better if he will be playing mm. in the star show. Oh, yeah, it, it's a fantastic game. Yeah, uh, and what's more, we will also, uh, especially for the German version, we will prepare uh, some uh, German stars and shows okay, yeah. and ads that will reference to the... To, to, uh, as, uh, as a bonus, as yeah. some bonus uh, No, no, no bonus, the, they will replace some. Uh, some, some of the, yeah. the shows who fit, yeah. don't know people here. Yeah. You know. Okay, good yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, um, it will be published at Essen uh, will be, this year. Uh, done in Essen, the German version. Yeah, and what's the price? So we are still uh, developing uh, mm -hmm. the game and uh, sending to production. Uh, is th this all is uh, in front of us? So now I cannot say how many it will be cost the German version, but I will uh, follow the information for you when Thank we will have much. the ready example of the game. Ja, wer mehr darüber wissen möchte, erstmal der Preis steht noch nicht ganz fest. Es wird aber auf jeden Fall die deutsche Version auf der diesjährigen Spiel, also in Essen, dann erhältlich sein. Ähm, ja, was ich noch sagen wollte, genau, wer mehr darüber wissen will, Nicknack, unser Gastrezensent Nicknack, hat das Spiel tatsächlich auf unserem Kanal, die englische Version, natürlich schon vorgestellt. Also wenn ihr da eine, ja, ein komplettes Video zu The Networks hören, hätte ich fast gesagt, sehen wollt, dann schaut doch einfach mal da in die Rezension von Nicknack rein. I barely understand, but yes. Yes, I said one of our guest reviewers already made a video oh. about the English version. So, people in the audience who want to have a complete you need to follow, video you need to follow and networks. see this review because it's the game is is awesome. It's just yeah, it's, awesome. It's, it's a great game. That's true. It's, I think it's the best television game uh, right now on the market. Yeah. So. I, I, I wish you the best and I wish it, it will be a very success, successful German version. Okay. Yeah, so visit us at Essen and you will get a lot of fun at our booth with all of those games and even with the new game in between. Yeah, oh yeah, in between I saw the, the yeah. some and spooky, you, strange of things yeah, yeah. Uh, game. When you, and you take a photo. Yeah, I, I took, I took, but I took oh, a scary yes. picture. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I took. So, uh, Thanks for showing up in our live stream. Thank you to having Thanks me for, here. Thanks uh, for being on our Yes, I'm, I'm positively surprised about this event. And we'll, we will be back here next year with Great more news. people, just because we are only with two of us. I so know, uh, we have no time to just uh, take a break. Yeah, I but know the problem. Yeah, <laughs> and I want to show more games. Yeah, great. Yeah, you will be very welcome next year. But we see us in Essen as well, of as course. Well. Will you be at Chenko? Uh, yeah, we are going at Gencon. We don't have uh, a booth there, but we will be at Gencon with the prototype of in between. So if you will be, maybe at we see us walking around. Yeah, yeah we, uh, Hunter and I will go to Gencon as well. So maybe we can see us there for yeah. a small chat meeting yeah. or something like that. Thank you for and coming. Uh, you, uh, some more news. Uh, uh, yeah, I, 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 ju I just want to say that you have a cool hat with the Zelda. I saw one of your yeah uh, the, the Zelda cap yeah yeah, yeah I love I have the same so like yeah, yeah. So, thank you very much <laughs> and um, see you soon see you soon thanks Kurze bye Pause hier und dann geht's weiter mit games up